I just need to place a call to Shea Butter. I need to talk to the HR because y'all need to start hiring the new millennials that know what's up so we can hook you up and y'all hook us up, you know, so we can. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist and I talk about all things skincare, front end, back end of all things skincare. Welcome. <laughs> Please subscribe down below, like the video because you're gonna like it. And yeah, that's it. Let's get into the video. So today's video is actually a really fun one for me. And with everything going on in 2020, ooh, child, we've been through it this year, you guys. I know, I don't know what you guys are going through, but just know that we're almost nearing the end of the year. It's been a lot. Just wanna take this moment to say, RIP Chadwick Boseman, you were a hero in every sense of the word. Rest in peace. You have definitely inspired me and I'm sure every black kid walking around, you were a true class act. Thank you. Okay, so this video is kind of special to my heart. Someone left a comment in my video and I can't think of the name of the subscriber, but I'll, I'll put your name or I'll shout you out in the, in the screen right here whenever I'm doing uh, editing. I just wanna say thank you for bringing to my knowledge that Shea Moisture has a freaking skincare line. And I know you're thinking, Shea Moisture. Yeah, Shea Moisture, literally the one that you guys know. The same Shea Moisture that has made all the amazing skincare, sorry, not skincare. I know too much about skincare. That's all I could think about. What the heck? But no, the same brand that has made all the hair care products for people of color. I don't know, don't quote me, but I want to say they were probably one of the first to actually make skincare line dedicated for like curly girls and 4C hair texture girls. They've just been looking out for their sisters and I'm just, I'm here for the brand and I'm just really excited to see what the product line has to offer. It was started by a black woman in Sierra Leone and being African, that just makes me so proud. Now, jumping into the skincare line. So we're going to review four products. We're going to go again and step of how we would apply our skincare products starting with the facial wash they don't have like a balm or facial balm like um a lot of the new skincare lines do have but they do have this facial wash which i've actually used it wasn't up to par <laughs> so yeah i discontinued using it but we're just gonna get into the ingredients talk about it and see what it's good for so it's called 100 percent virgin coconut oil daily hydrating foaming facial wash some of the key ingredients here are cocomidu propylbutane, decuglucoside, which are the two surfact major surfactants in here. Cocomidu propylbutane is an amphoteric surfactant, amphoteric surfactant meaning it is added as a secondary surfactant normally, but with the movement of no SLS, no SLES. Cocomidu propylbutane has become increasingly popular and has been used in a lot more products as a primary surfactant, which you guys will recognize from Fenty Beauty. They have it as a primary surfactant. The other surfactant here, which is decuglucoside, is actually a milder surfactant. It's used in baby products. So both of these surfactants are very mild surfactant. Glucomedium propyl betaine here is actually still working as a secondary surfactant. It's assisting decuglucoside to boost its foaming properties. So those are the two surfactants that are in this product. It also has elantoin, shea butter, of course, it's the brand coconut oil, which I know a lot of people are just like, why coconut oil? So coconut oil actually, when it's used in like skincare products, it's uh, cosmetic grade. It's not, I mean, it can be comedogenic. It depends on your skin type. Honestly, if you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't just even advise to use a product with coconut oil. Just don't do it. Aside from that, um, I don't see any other amazing ingredients in here. I just feel like, again, if you watch my video where I talked about uh, what brand was that, uh, uh, Ugh, can think. Bird's Bees. <laughs> Where I talked about Bird's Bees, that brand wasn't up to par. It was kind of sitting in the 2000s when it comes to skincare. Now all the sisters want to know what's in their skincare. Everyone is pretty hyper aware of what's in the skincare product. So I feel like this brand needs to catch up. So yeah, thumbs down on this product. Okay, next product here is the Matcha Green Tea Probiotic Transforming Cleater Cream Cleanser. I will say their price points are pretty affordable. For $10.99, you get a pretty good amount of cleanser. So this one has kaolin bentonite which is that indian clay mass that's pretty popular it helps to draw out impurities from your pores i don't like using bentonite when it comes to daily cleansing just because i feel like it can be uh irritating because it's really strong you don't want that amount of like cleansing power every day on your skin it can strip your skin and just break down you know, your epidermis layer it also has something called mystric acid mystric acid is fine for most people but there's been countless studies that have been done where a good amount of people in the studies would have irritation from mystric acid so it's just something to keep in mind when you're buying a product if you do have really sensitive skin like really sensitive skin i would look out for mystric acid and i just would not recommend it let's see if there's any good thing that we can point out because i feel like i've just pretty much been like saying bad stuff about this brand uh let's see i mean it has allantoin and aloe but it's it's just like every brand has that now you know aloe is just kind of like a given like why don't you have aloe girl 
out like you better have aloe in your products you know like it's just not something that's like oh my god i feel like they could have they couldn't do better so thumbs down again i feel bad but hey it is what it is the next product here is the african black soap y'all know the african black soap i used to use that shit in college all the time it's amazing by the way if you're in a budget like strict budget that shit is amazing it is antibacterial properties it can have antioxidant properties it's just an all-around amazing soap okay, moving on to the ingredients on this one so it has aloe which again is not anything that we're like obsessed with it's not anything that we care for because it should be in the products already it's isopropyl alcohol it has glycerin it has witch hazel okay i want it really quickly now i made a video on witch hazel i don't know which video is going to come out first but witch hazel is a great astringent but when it's combined with alcohol in this case isopropyl alcohol which is denatured alcohol that can actually dry out your skin so if you have really dry skin i wouldn't recommend this when witch hazel and alcohol combine together it literally amplifies the estrogen properties of witch hazel and it can be really dry and think of witch hazel and alcohol combined together as that ex-boyfriend or ex-best friend that just sucks the life consistently out of you right we don't want that <laughs> that's not what we don't want so if you have really dry skin break up with witch hazel and alcohol do not get this product is what i'm trying to say this is not for you and even if you have oily skin i don't think that this toner is the best for people with oily skin i mean it has willow bark extract which is uh, salicylic acid which is acid that goes into the pores and starts to clear out your pores on the inside aside from that nothing else impresses me so this product gets half a vote just half a vote all right moving on to the last product we're going to talk about here today is the moisturizer so they have a ton of moisturizers also they have a ton of toners i'm just picking and choosing here the ones i thought would be more beneficial to you guys i'm going to talk about this one called the matcha green tea and probiotics color protected moisturizer so this one has water capric triglyceride glycerosterate which is emulsifier situ alcohol which is a fatty alcohol it's not the drying alcohol please have an active i really want to say something good to end it okay it has vitamin e it has alan 20 has jojoba esters again still lacking on like key actives <sighs> you can do better i'm sorry i mean this is gonna be as honest as it gets i'm not gonna praise a product when i feel like it could be better so yeah that's that's really it this brand will get the same final <clears throat> <clears throat> this brand would get the same final thoughts as the brand Burt's Bees because they both are kind of in the same boat. They're both kind of lacking. I just need you guys to hire me. I just need to place a call to Shea Butter. I need to talk to the HR because all these cosmetic chemists are reaching out to me telling me they can't get a job. Y'all need to start hiring the new millennials that know what's up so we can hook you up and y'all hook us up, you know, so we can, we can do a little trade by barter, right? <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about this skincare line. Did you even know they had a skincare line? I for sure didn't. But yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below. I'll leave your thoughts and comments down below. I love talking to you guys. It literally just makes my day. It's like the best part of posting a video. So please leave me a comment and let's chat. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.